What's going on guys? John Elder here from CodingBee.com and in this video, I'm going to show you how to teach yourself KVMD. Alright guys, like I said, in this video, I'm going to show you how to teach yourself KVMD. But before we get started, if you like this video and want to see more like it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to that channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out CodingBee.com where I have dozens of courses with hundreds of videos that teach you to code. Use coupon code YouTube1 to get $30 off membership. That's all my courses, videos, and books for one time fee of just $49, which is insanely cheap. Okay, like I said, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to teach yourself KVMD. Now, in the next bunch of videos, I'm gonna be explaining KVMD in great detail. I'm gonna absolutely show you everything you need to know. But if you don't wanna wait, if you wanna skip ahead and learn this stuff yourself, I'm gonna show you how in this video, and it's actually a lot easier than you might think. So in the last video, we looked at this kitchen sink demo, and if you didn't see that, check the comment section below for a link to the playlist. And you can see the kitchen sink has everything in the kitchen sink. So for instance, if you wanna see what buttons are, you can click on buttons and see the kinds of buttons that there are. If you wanna see cards, we can, you know, play around with cards. Whatever you wanna use as a KVMD design element, you could sort of look at in this app, but that doesn't really help you create it, right? You know what it is, but you don't know how to use it by looking at this app. Well, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to dive into this thing and actually look at the code and use it to learn how to do each of these things. So instead of me spending the next 20 videos talking about each of these things, and I probably will a little bit, you can just click on one of these, look at it, say, okay, I wanna learn that, and then do what I'm about to show you to learn how to use it quickly. So let's go ahead and close this. So I've got two files here, testing.py and testing.kv. It's our basic KV starter code that we always use. I'm using the Sublime Text Editor and the Git Bash Terminal as always. And you can find a link to the code for this in the pinned comment section below, as well as the link to the KV playlist with over 40 other KV videos and growing. So check that out if you haven't so far. So we've got our builder. We've set it to testing.kv. Now I've saved both of these files in our new C slash KVMD directory. Up until now, we've been working in KV new. In the last video, we created this KVMD directory where we installed Kivi. So, okay, let's head back over here and let's run this kitchen sink one more time and say we want a card, right? How do we use this? How do we learn how to use this? Where's the code for this that we can play around with? Well, if we type LS, we see we've got this KVMD directory, right? And now let me pull up just a Windows File Explorer, maybe it'd be easier to look here. So we go in our C drive, find our KVMD directory. Here it is, this is the directory we're in. We see this other KVMD folder. We can click on that. And then we see the demos. This is where the kitchen sink was. We go back, we see some docs. That's not what we're looking for. You may think it was, but no, we want this KVMD directory right here. So it's KVMD slash KVMD slash KVMD. We're really diving in here. And then inside of here, you see this UIX folder. And this is UI design, right? This is all of those things. So right here is the card. Above it is the buttons. Remember when we ran this thing, let's run this again, we see cards, we see buttons, we see chips underneath that. So if we look back here, uh, let's see, cards, buttons, chips. You could just look through here and find all of those different elements. And then you just wanna open them to read about them. So we could, for instance, if we want cards, we can just go ahead and open this with Sublime. Uh, I did it that way. Or you could just come into Sublime and go to File Open and then navigate to that same directory and click it there, either way. And here is fantastic documentation. And look at this far right panel. Look at all of this comments. This is all the stuff you can learn about cards. So you could just start reading and it seems like a lot, but it's not necessarily a lot. And then right here, we see the actual code starts. Pull this up right around here, right? For the actual code. But a lot of times the documentation will have the code as well. So if we look through here in this card documentation, we see, I mean, first you could read all this and you probably want to, to at least give it a glance. But then you come down here and you say, okay, in our Python folder, we need these two things. So let's go ahead and copy this from Kivi Lang import builder. I think we've already got that. Yeah, right here. So we don't have to do that again, but we also need this. So let's go ahead and copy that, put that in there, right? And then it says in our Kivi file, right? The builder, we just put this code in, right? So let's head over to our Kivi file and I'm just going to paste this code in. Now, the formatting for this is gonna usually be off 
you see if I highlight this, you see these dots, that means spaces. And what we need is like this, all clear, no dots, that means tabs. So you're likely gonna have to sort of tab this over and then tab it back. Same thing with these guys, tab them over and then tab them back. Now when we highlight this, you can see it's clear, there's no dots, that means we've tabbed correctly. And well, it looks like we gotta put this over here. Okay, so there we go, screen, and then inside of that, our MD card, and then here are the things you can do to play around with the, the position of it. Okay, so let's go ahead and save this. Now this isn't all we have to do. Oops, we need to just like change that too. Okay, uh, let's look back at the documentation. We see we need this class and this run in our Python file itself. So we come back to our Python file, and let's just come down here and paste this in. You'll see class test card, it's passing in MD app, and then it's got a build. So that looks exactly like this class of ours, almost, right? But instead of passing app, we need to pass MD app. And here that's calling the loader, we're instead returning my layout, which itself calls the lo loader. So we can get rid of that. So now we don't need that, we can use our our regular code that we already had, but we've placed this MD app in there, so it should now work. So if we save this, head back over here, save this, now we can run this testing.py file. So let's close this, let me clear the screen. So this is gonna be Python testing.py, and notice we're still in our C slash KVMD directory. We're not in our C slash KVMD slash KVMD slash KVMD directory. We're in our main directory here. And if we run this, uh-oh, Oh, I forgot to take out, yeah, down here, this test.run, we don't need that as well. I got that from the documentation because we've got awesome app.run, which is the name of our class, right? So, okay, take that out. Okay, so that looks good. Now we can run this. And we get an indentation error. What's going on here? Ah, yeah, everything is indented, one extra. There we go, pop it back. Okay, so there, that looks good. Okay, so let's go ahead and save this. And it's Monday morning, so you know how this goes. And, oh, we get this card down here in the bottom. That doesn't quite look right because, let's see, yes. All of this needs to be inside of our box layout. So let's try this one more time. <laughs> All right, there we go. So now it's nice and square right in the middle. And that's a card, right? So we can learn just by fiddling around with this that, okay, this is how you create a card. You put a screen, you do MD card. You could change the size hint like you usually would. We've already learned how to do this, the position hint. We've learned how to do that. And it's just that easy. But now you're saying to yourself, okay, that's a card. How do I put stuff in the card, right? I don't know, let's go back and check it out. So then if we keep going here, oh, the very next thing is add content to card. And you'll find that this documentation is fantastic. I don't know who did it, used to be, there'd be a copyright on who did the documentation. I don't see that anymore. Maybe at the bottom, no. But whoever did this, did all this documentation is fantastic. And this documentation will change as KVMD changes, right? So you wanna be always looking at this as a new version of KVMD maybe comes out or they've made an update to it. To it. You're gonna come back here and look at this to learn how to do it quickly, right? So let's look through here add content to card. So, okay, we've got our Python file. We've already done this stuff. Here is the stuff we need for that. So let's just copy all this and come back over to our testing file. And instead of this, let me get rid of that and paste all this in. Now, again, remember, you're gonna wanna come back here and redo all of these. So what I'll usually do is I'll just copy it all and then tab it over. And then you need to do these individually, tap them back. Okay, so then this one too. And this one too. And finally this one too. Okay, so that looks right. Okay, so go ahead and save this and run it. So let's run this. And we see title and body, and that looks cool. So anything you wanna do with KVMD, this is a great way to come through here and just learn. And you can just keep reading down here. What is, what's next? Well, you can do swiping, right? You can learn about how to swipe cards. That's kind of cool. Uh, what's next? 
building a swipe to one side of the screen. Okay. And you can just see there's just a ton of documentation that's going to lay out everything you want to know about all this stuff. So we could try something else. We could open file again, come to KVMD, KVMD, go to UIX. Maybe we want, I don't know, a slider or something. There's a slider. We can open it up. We got to add this to the KV file. Okay, no big deal there. Add a slider. We just add this. So let's come back over here and I don't know, give it a try. And again, we're going to need to change the like that. Make sure this screen lines up with this screen. That looks good. Have that over. Let's move these over. Okay, that looks pretty good. Let's go ahead and save this and run it. And you see now we've got a slider, right? <laughs> All right, it's just a basic slider, but that's how you learn how to do these things. And if you want to learn, obviously, more intricate things with the slider, you just come through here and read without a hint value, without custom colors. There's some other code you can look through. Here, you'll see the canvas stuff. This is the actual code itself. This is sort of the guts of the thing, right? Up here, we're just dealing with the KV file. And if you just want the standard things, you could you know, fiddle around with these values. If you want to change fundamentally how this thing acts in certain ways, which sometimes you just have to do, you can learn how to do it by fiddling with this actual code. Here's the actual canvas code, right? So if you needed to change the size of this thing, right, you could do it there using this code, right? Change a color somewhere. You can do it there in this code. Any of the other sort of fundamental things about this thing you're working with, you can play around with with this actual code. So these files have all of the stuff that you really need to teach yourself how to use these things. And really, it's just a matter of playing around with it because you're going to look at this and it's going to seem overwhelming. If you're a beginner, this might be a lot. If you're more sort of intermediate to advanced, this is really, really useful stuff that you should be able to pick up just by kind of reading through here and spending a few minutes on it. And then it'll click into place and go, oh, that's how you do it. And you go on from there. So like I said, we're going to get into all of this stuff in great, great detail going forward in this playlist. We're going to build some cool apps. I'm going to show you how to do all kinds of fun things. But like I said, if you don't want to wait for me, because these are once a week videos, dive into these and just start learning all the things. Just start creating little test apps like we did just here and just play with these things. See how to use them, how to get the basic functionality of them, how to tweak them a little bit in here by changing the size and the position and the colors and whatever else each particular thing has. And just remember, you can always come back here and run Python, KVMD, uh, demos, kitchen sink, and then main.py to you know pull up your kitchen sink and just look through here and see all the different things. So you look at them here first, you see, okay, how do I make this? You go back, you check this documentation that I just showed you, you play around with it, you try and do it yourself. Then you fiddle with it and try and make something different with it. You know, I see two columns here. Maybe try to make something with three columns. See if you, the documentation shows you how to do that. Whatever you want to do, dive into that documentation and learn about it. And it's a great way to really understand this stuff without needing somebody like me to explain it. Of course, sometimes there's there may just be something you don't understand. Then you can come back and ask someone like me. But this is a great start to learn how to do this stuff yourself. And it's a lot of fun to play around with. So that's all for this video. If you liked it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out codemy.com where you can use coupon code YouTube1 to get $30 off membership. So that's just $49 to access all my courses, over 47 courses, hundreds of videos, and the PDFs of all my best-selling coding books. Join over 100,000 students learning to code just like you. My name is John Elder from codemy.com, and I'll see you in the next video.